Recently, two members of Pikeville Fire Department completed the Confined Space Rescue Technician Training Course at the Kentucky State Fire School in Lexington. This training will benefit the department if someone is trapped or if a firefighter has to navigate a small space. Mountaintop News spoke with firefighter EMT Hunter Farron to hear his thoughts on the course. We learned where most incidents would take place, uh, what kind of incidents could take place. Uh, we actually got to do a little bit of hands-on on the second day of classroom towards the end, uh, just some preparatory stuff, pretty much learning how the tripod sets up. Some of the equipment we'll be using got to get familiar with it. So the next day, whenever we came in, we actually set up on the confined space prop and we started doing uh, more real life scenarios where we would put somebody in as a victim inside a confined space. Uh, it would be enclosed and we would go in and have to do a rescue. It puts a lot of aspects of the fire service together using, uh, using rope, using other kind of rescue equipment. Uh, you've got a lot of, you've got supplied air as well as your SCBA, uh, which is what you would use to go into a fire that provides air in case the air quality into that confined space is bad or unable to be inhabited without any kind of uh, respiratory protection. Outpatient medication assisted treatment for addiction, adult and youth behavioral counseling, and now psychiatric services, accepting Medicare and all major insurance. Recovery is hard, regret is harder. Appalachian Community Care, LLC, in Pikeville and Whitesburg, call 606 432 5660. Find us on Facebook. Farron continues to say training like this is something every firefighter could use to their advantage. There are numerous other rescue techniques involved in confined space rescues. I do think it's something that uh, every firefighter that has anything to do with technical rescue should be able to do, but it's much like ropes or trench or some of the other uh, technical rescue that we focus on around here. It's something that provides you with more knowledge than just that subject because there are there's air monitoring in it, there's uh, a lot of rope stuff in it. I think that being exposed to those real life scenarios, being able to watch it go on firsthand is something that would improve a lot of fireman skills, uh, whether it's volunteer, career, just any fireman that uh, would take any kind of interest in being in a technical rescue situation like that. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.